under this menu a delicious and easy recipe that really is the cream of the crop. A heavenly creamy mushroom soup. Lei Ho Ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungMenCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. I've definitely had my share growing up enjoying canned soup and one of my favorites was actually the cream of mushroom. Join me in today's episode and we'll make a delicious yet simple creamy mushroom soup together. Remove the dirt from the mushrooms by brushing it with a paper towel. In this episode, we're using half a pound of cremini mushrooms. Remove the stalks from the mushrooms. Set the stems aside along with half of the mushroom caps. Thinly slice the remaining mushroom caps. Three pieces of garlic, crushed. One onion, sliced. Thinly slice half a potato. Rinse and drain the potato slices with some water. This will prevent the soup from developing a goopy texture. We're just about ready to get cooking. Now this episode is actually a bit of a companion video to the creamy mushroom soup that's in the Cook with Confidence cookbook. Inside the cookbook, the serving size is about for two people, but of course you can always multiply the recipe to make more. For today, we're just gonna make the same recipe in the cookbook. Saute pan, medium heat, two tablespoons olive oil, onions and garlic. Saute for four to five minutes. potato slices, whole mushroom caps and stalks, generous pinch of salt, fresh cracked pepper to taste. Saute for three to four minutes. Four and a half cups vegetable stock. Give the pan a good stir, then simmer on medium for about 10 minutes. While we wait for that to simmer, I get a lot of questions about the gear and sauces and ingredients that I use on the show, and I do try to make some time to showcase those. And this here is the blender that we'll be using today. This is the Vitamix A3500. I absolutely love Vitamix. It is, it's such an incredible product. It is definitely by far one of the most versatile and most valuable tools, I would say, that I have in my kitchen and I always have to have. It really is incredible how much power this blender has. It can do anything from soups and smoothies. And if you're blending up smoothies, say like the strawberries, it literally liquefies the seeds. In this episode, we'll be actually blending up cashews without having to soak them because this will completely liquefy the cashews. If you're not using a high power blender like this, you can definitely soak the cashews overnight that will soften them up. The Vitamix is definitely somewhat of a pricey investment. However, if something like this is definitely valuable for you in your kitchen, then I would highly recommend getting this particular tool. One more thing to note is that we'll be actually blending the hot soup directly in the blender. I haven't experienced this with Vitamix products yet, However, with past blenders, I've definitely, speaking from personal experience, had instances where the lid would just completely pop off because there's so much pressure by filling up the blender and you can kind of risk burning yourself or just making a big mess. 
I haven't experienced that yet with Vitamix products. The, the lids that are on there are pretty tight, but definitely keep that in mind. Quarter cup cashews. Quarter cup water. Pinch of salt and pepper. Drizzle of olive oil. Blend on high until liquefied. Pour the cashew cream into the soup. Give the pan a stir and bring to a boil. Carefully transfer the soup back into the blender. Blend on high until liquefied. Bring the saute pan back to medium heat. Drizzle of olive oil. Slice the mushrooms. Season with salt and pepper. Saute the mushrooms for a few minutes. Pour the soup into the pan. Give the soup a good stir and it's ready to serve. Plate. Fresh cracked pepper. Drizzle of olive oil. You can now indulge in this heartwarming soup with absolute confidence. Man, that looks and smells incredible. Boy, does that remind me of my childhood. Visually, the soup is really just rustic and casual. Literally a warm hug in a bowl. And you're welcomed with this incredibly delicious, earthy, umami, salty, peppery kind of flavor. By blending up some of the mushrooms and the mushroom stalks, the soup is given this kind of really earthy, luscious mushroom baseline. And that cashew cream just substantiates that texture, makes it a little bit more full-bodied. I mean, the texture is just creamy, velvety, almost buttery. You get that garlic and onion flavor that's sauteed and then just melts into the soup. The little bit of potato that we added actually helps thicken the soup as well and accentuates that full body texture. And the purpose of rinsing off the extra starch from the potatoes just keeps the soup from becoming a little bit too goopy. The crumini mushrooms really add into that kind of beautiful brown color. Another great mushroom to use for this would be the mighty kind of meaty portobello mushroom. You get that delicious fruity flavor from that extra virgin olive oil. It's also wonderful to have those sliced mushrooms that sauteed so that you get a little bit of texture with that soup. Simple, rustic, casual, really delicious, really earthy in flavor, tons of umami. And best of all, this was so simple to put together. It's definitely simple and delicious recipes like this that makes it so exciting to cook at home. And this, of course, can be totally customizable with some thyme or oregano or some delicious crunchy croutons. If you love easy and delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out the Ramen Cookbook or the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, the Young Man Cooking Merch, as well as our plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check all those things out. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.